Well, John, st- John, he's still on his way. So I think I'll just go into a rave now. He'd probably interrupt me because he he thinks my plays are never going to happen. But I I don't think that's the thing to worry about. I think they're they're designs. I'm going to go with the design idea that it's the working around what the idea might be that is um, something in itself and lends itself to radio because we can sort of talk around it and um, see where we go. But I I don't want to lose track of reality because most of my... Uh, it, directions come out of the frustration from one thing moving into another thing and I've been trying to look at um, where online learning might go because it seems to me it's got a lot of potential um, but there's also a lot of uh, res- restrictions on it, resistance to it um, at this point John might say well he, he actually found the online m- moving suddenly into online learning was, was quite difficult um, which I can understand, um, but there's still that possibility. And uh, what seems to be happening at the moment is we're, we're just going back to normal or in, and without thinking what the potential is of, of uh, other things that have happened. Um, but in, in terms of reality, what I found during my holiday, uh, The Guardian didn't have very much uh, positive about online learning. It had a report from OECD that uh, UK degrees are very expensive and questioning the value of them. Um, but it didn't really comment on that very, very much. Um, but it did have a supplement about uh, online learning or digital learning. And um, this had news about BET. That's the, the trade show for school technology, uh, educational training and technology. Um, that happens in January that we've been to, John and I and also Chris from the the Wild Show and we phone in to JD who is left at home to cope on those occasions and um, it turns out that eSports is going to be a feature and um, th- this seems to be like games, around, around games and also... Um, Chichester University are offering courses on on esports, so I, I think I'm going to hang on to that as as reality, and that would be in January, towards the end of January, um, and then the 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 drama show, I'll obviously report on um, the extra fringe and whatever else we can get, but I'll also mess about with my own plays about the CD walk and the ruins of the Fortress University. Uh, this is a disjointed show, by the way, but I'm, I'm going to carry on anyway, so it's one chunk of uh, sound I could just take take out. Um, the CD Walk is walking around Exeter, could, could work in any city, looking at where the music retail used to be and asking the question, uh, how much space is really needed for education? And also looking at the student accommodation going up everywhere and asking the question, really, how much of that is going to be needed? Um, What's going to happen? By the way, uh, I think the big conversation that Exeter University has been doing um, will be expanded to the public sometime next week. I think there's a a webcast which will explain what they think is going to happen. Anyway... Going back to the, the the ruins of the Fortress University, this is um, following on from Peter Horrocks, gave a lecture about the Fortress University when he was Vice-Chancellor of the Open University. Uh, this was in Durham, and you can find it on YouTube, but it's only had about 250 views, which I think is just extraordinary, because it's... Um, for the time, I think it was four, four years ago, maybe five years ago, quite a while ago, he was explaining why he thought FutureLearn, the MOOC scene, online learning, would expand uh, what HE is or was, whatever you think about it. Um, so I thought that was a very, very interesting lecture and uh, should be better known. So my, my plays depend on the setting, really. And um, I've found that in Kendal, there's some very good ruins. There's um, a castle, which is definitely 
uh, run down. It's not defendable at all. Um, but that is a good, that's a good setting for some sort of uh, futurist take on what used to be a fortress university.